Hello, everybody. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And right now, there is a, a technology conference going on called MWC19 Barcelona, or it used to be called Mobile um, World Conference or something to that effect. Basically, it is a global technology conference on a variety of topics, including connectivity, AI, industry 4.0, emerging content, disruptive innovation, digital wellness, digital trust, and the future. So basically, it's a generic uh, tech conference for bleeding edge corporate technology development. And one of the people announcing at this one was Microsoft. And obviously, as you saw from the title graphic, one of the big announcements here is the new HoloLens 2. Although to be honest, I think the majority of people are actually gonna be more interested in the second announcement that we will get to in a second. So first off, what exactly is a HoloLens? Well, first, it's expensive. So don't think of this as a VR headset. Think of this as like nine VR headsets because that's about what it costs. And instead of VR, this is AR or augmented reality. That is, it takes your normal field of vision and projects computer graphics on top of it. So a lot of the time, the idea around here is to overlay the real world with augmented information. So it's kind of like, you know, in those futuristic videos where sometimes they have a virtual board meeting and people are shown that aren't really there. You could use augmented reality to do that kind of thing. The gaming potential for augmented reality is actually huge. And you can also kind of mix and match augmented reality. So you could have some people working on a tablet that have like just a visual look of it, but other people are actually physically in the real world. The only thing that's kind of equivalent to the HoloLens on the market right now is probably the Leap. Uh, but the HoloLens is much harder higher end. So HoloLens 2 is the iteration of HoloLens. The first HoloLens was announced back in 2016 and it's kind of the improvement to HoloLens 2 are a little vague here. They've got so it's got better sensors. So they broke it down into three categories that people uh, wanted for feedback. First one was immersion and what they're saying here is that they have doubled the field of view in HoloLens 2 while maintaining industry leading holographic density of 47 pixels per degree of sight. Um, They've also changed the way that, the, that they do that. They added a new uh, time of depth, time of flight depth sensor combined with built-in AI and semantic understanding and have better integration for how you interact with the holographic projections. And they also integrated Windows Hello, which is their visual-based login system. And I actually use it on my Surface Pro and it's actually really good as long as you don't wear a toque. Don't know why, can't handle toques. Um, the other big part that they wanted was more comfort. And I get this, even from using a VR headset, I find them uncomfortable over time. There's always an annoying point like where too much pressure rubs on your head or too much heat builds up or they fog over or there's always some kind of an issue. So a lot of the other improvements to HoloLens, HoloLens 2 were things like balancing the center of gravity, using lighter carbon fiber materials um, and new um, vapor chamber handling so that the, the heat was wicked away better uh, and the ability to wear glasses underneath it. Um, so they just basically made the thing more comfortable over time. Together, these enhancements have more than tripled the measured comfort. I don't know how you measure comfort, but it's three times whatever that measurement is, and ergonomics of device. And that's actually a pretty big deal, especially if this is the kind of thing that you're, you know, if you want a game designer to work with this thing on his head all day, it needs to be comfortable. And it's same with an engineer in the field or an architect or whatever. It needs to be a device you can wear all day. And that seems to be a focus there as well. And then they've got their time to value. This is market speak basically for saying an ecosystem. It's again, a complete market speak and not really worth talking about too, too much there. Uh, and then now we're getting into price. And as I mentioned, to start things off, HoloLens 2 is not cheap. In fact, it is $3,500 um, available in that's actually with Dynamics 365 um, for $125 a month is another option. Uh, it's available in the United States, Japan, China, Germany, Canada, United Kingdoms, Ireland, France, Australia, and New Zealand. And you can pre-order it. We'll get to that in just just a second. The bigger announcement, in my humble opinion, was actually their Azure Connect Developer Kit. And this is actually kind of cool. This is um, Azure Evolve. Now, if you've never, sorry, not Azure, Connect. If you've never had an Xbox 360 or Xbox One when they forced Connect down your throat, this is a motion sensing technology. And it's probably the best mass market motion sensing technology out there. It sucks for games, and there's a reason why um, it keeps failing as a gaming device. But as a production device, it's actually really quite good. People use Connect on PC for a lot of things, um, such as facial capture and motion capturing technologies. And this basically is a developer kit. This is a more advanced, more powerful version of the Kinect um, for PC devices, and it's aimed at research AI, that kind of stuff. So this is going to be used for game development tools, 100% guaranteed. You are going to start seeing uh, more advanced uh, animation, world capture, 3D scanning, photo telemetry, um, that kind of stuff. That is what this will be used for. And you can actually use multiple um, 
of the, the Acer connects together. Um, it's built on a 12 gigabyte RGB camera, I believe, a one gigabyte depth camera um, on top sorry, megabyte. Okay, those are really high resolution cameras. Uh, yeah, a 12 megabyte RGB camera, a one megabyte uh, depth camera, the uh, time of flight depth center they just built into the HoloLens 2, and then a, I think it was seven microphones, circular array, yeah, and then seven uh, microphones in an array around the device. So you can use it for audio capture in 360, I can imagine, as well as you, since you've got that depth capture, it will be very good for facial animation, motion capture, that kind of stuff. So without a doubt you are going to see the Azure um, Connect used as a tool for game development. Uh, it's still, it's not completely cheap. It's still 400 bucks. And as you can see by the name developer kit, this is a focused towards developer product. So it will be interesting to see what products develop of that. And this is the Dynamics 365 thing that they, um, they bundled as part of the HoloLens 2. It seems to be a way of kind of augmenting advice and instruction on top of the real world. And it's kind of a very interesting and neat concept, but probably not extremely important to um, game developers in the end. They've also got two new services coming for Azure, their cloud-based technology, Azure Spatial Anchors, enable businesses and developers to create mixed reality apps that map, uh, designate, and recall precise points of interest that are accessible across HoloLens, iOS, and Android devices. Uh, these precise points of interest enable a range of scenarios from shared mixed uh, reality experiences to wayfinding across connected places. We're already seeing this service help our customers work and learn with greater speed and ease in manufacturing, architecture, medical education, and more. So I guess a super powered Pokemon Go. Uh, and then easier remote rendering helps people experience 3D without compromise to fuel, um, fuel better, faster decisions. Uh, yeah. So... This actually sounds like the development of their LOD technology that they bought a while back. That was, oh, uh, who did they buy? Simplygon. So I imagine this is Simplygon's technology being incorporated into an Azure product here. So very interesting. Plus, they've got some technology here for if you want to create your own operating system or construction site special version of HoloLens, they're doing specialized versions of it. Now, this would not be a specifically game developer related topic if we did not have a game engine announcement, which of course we do. And that is that Unreal Engine have announced that they will be supporting the HoloLens 2, which there was never really any doubt. You knew it was going to come. Uh, you also know that Unity is going to announce eventually, but in this case, it was Epic Games. Both support HoloLens 1, but interestingly enough, Unreal Engine currently supports HoloLens Lens 1 via streaming. Uh, HoloLens 2 is going to be supported via streaming and via native platform integration, which I think means running a binary directly on the device. So um, it's obvious that this support was going to be coming, but they've basically announced day one support. And they said that it will be coming in May of 2019. And that's basically the extent of that particular announcement there. And like I said, don't be shocked. You're going to hear from Unity as well. Th these guys are always the first to support VR and AR devices. So this doesn't shock me in the slightest. And then finally, if you want to go ahead and get yourself a HoloLens 2, pre-order is coming soon for the device only. And once again, 3,500 bucks a device. Oddly enough, on their pre-order page, I don't think they've got up the camera yet. So the uh, Azure Connect is not up here, uh, at least not on this page. Even if I go to pre-order now, I can select it. Nope. Uh, so perhaps it's somewhere else, but it is not included as part of this particular release. All told, though, it is a, a, an interesting series of announcements. If you're an extremely wealthy person and like to play with the latest tech, well, you've got something really cool, new, and sexy coming to you. But I think, honestly, in all of this announcement, the new Connect is probably going to be the bigger deal. A more powerful Connect with a developer SDK shipped as a developer-focused product is going to bring us some pretty interesting tech to the masses, stuff that costs a lot of money right now. We're probably going to see cool, more powerful, more featured versions of it coming soon. So let me know what you think. Are, are you interested in Connect? Is it technology that's already shipped and you just don't give a damn anymore? Just keep it the hell away from your games. Are you interested in HoloLens 2 or are you more on the VR side of the equation? Or is 3,500 bucks just too damn rich? And again, this is not aimed at the end consumer. If you are looking for a more consumer focused AR device, you probably want to get the leap. But anyways, that is it. That is the announcement out of MWC 19. I hope you found that useful. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.